I'm happy I uploaded last week, but I keep thinking back about the video and everything, and I'm like, there wasn't really a point to it. And I've been trying to like sit down and just think about how can I make a point to things? But then again, everything doesn't all, I feel like I'm so fixated on everything having to have a point and having to have a meaning and a reason that it kind of gets in the way of my creative process. And I've been, I think that's a lot of the reason why I can't make music. I feel like there's not like a point to like, I have a hard time making a story or taking a story from the past that's not currently happening and bring it to the present, if that makes sense. Gosh, I don't know. I don't really have a way to describe it, I guess. I need like the story to be in the present. I guess I have a hard time, like say I was, if I was, I'm good at filming things while they happen, but I'd have a very hard time redoing an event and recording it. You know what, I, if that makes sense, like telling the story afterward, like I have a, I have a, I'm very good at telling the story in the moment but say I ha I didn't record it in the moment and then I had to like reimagine it and then record it, I'd have a very hard time. So I don't I don't I don't know if that makes any sense or not. I don't I don't really know, to be honest. I that that's uh that sounds weird and awkward, but the shoot last weekend went really well. And I actually just finished up the video. It's now Thursday. I just finished up the video and I think it is my best project I've ever worked on. And I'm really excited about that and really happy about that. Um, and I'm excited to see what Celis thinks of it when he sees it. Um, but I, I think it turned out really well. And I, I did a lot of stuff. I was watching a lot of Eminem behind the scenes things to kind of give me some more inspiration for it. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, but the main thing, I just, I just got my dang a little notice, you know, like when you go to the doctor's office and stuff, and we normally have a flex spend card, so I guess I normally don't pay attention to it, um, so like a flex spend card is a card that's kind of loaded with money at the beginning of each year that comes out of your paycheck, um, my mother has one, and we normally use it to buy like contacts and stuff like that, little things, you know, you get deductible and all, but I just got the notice because I a few months ago my inhaler ran out and of course I didn't use all the prescriptions from the, the all the refills from the prescription before it ran out so I went to go get another inhaler because this inhaler I've had for a year or two finally started to run out and it's down to like 13 and I have asthma but I only have asthma when I'm when I have bad allergies or something so even though I only used one refill out of like four or five that they give me in a year or two year span, I had to go and have another appointment to confirm with them that I still have asthma and still can't breathe. Um, and of course, the, the freaking appointment got pushed off by two weeks. Like I called and I was down to like 15, 20 puffs of my inhaler and it was during allergies and stuff like a month or two ago. And I had to wait two weeks to get a, pr another prescription so I can get a refill on my inhaler for the asthma that I have that only affects me when I have allergies. So, I got the, it was a 10 minute phone call, it was a telephoto visit, mind you. I had to call them 30 minutes early to make sure and I would joined the room like 10 minutes beforehand and then she joined the room and says, do you still have difficulties breathing? And I said yes and then she said okay, I'll refill your prescription and then she gave me my prescription and I had to go to CVS and CVS had difficulties with it and they couldn't get it approved through my insurance so I had to call the doctors and they told the doctors told me to tell CVS to transfer it to Walmart so I tried having CVS transfer it to Walmart and they told me they transferred it to Walmart and then I called Walmart and I was calling Walmart all throughout the next week or two and Walmart tells me they haven't gotten anything and I called CVS to see why they haven't transferred it and CVS says oh we'll transfer it and I called Walmart again the next day to see this this is over like a two-week span and I call Walmart the next day and Walmart says we haven't received anything um, so I call CVS and they tell me they don't have the prescription anymore so I call I asked Walmart like what can what, what am I supposed to do about this and they tell me to call the doctor's office so I called the doctor's office and told them to fax it to Walmart and then they still didn't fax it so I had to talk to Walmart and have Walmart get the doctor's office to fax it to Walmart directly so they could finally get me my inhaler 
So, I had a five to 10 minute video call with one of the physicians to say, yes, I can refill your inhaler, all right? Five to 10 minutes. I've had the, you guys, and I'm not exaggerating with this either. You guys remember before when I had my whole case with the dang poison ivy and stuff and I had to freaking go through a whole process to get it reduced because they were trying to charge me like $1,500 for a freaking 10 minute appointment when they stuck a freaking needle in my arm because I had freaking poison ivy all around my freaking arms. Like, I don't go to the doctor. This is the third time I've been to the doctors in six years, six or seven years. I don't go to the doctor because of this. This is the reason I don't go. You know, and everybody talking about, no, we can't have universal health and all that stupid ish while we're paying like thousands of dollars a month for insurance and then we still get like 50 to 100 to 200 dollar freaking co-pays for visits. Back to the topic at hand. I went, I talked to her for like five minutes on the phone, said, yes, I have difficulties breathing when allergies come around. Yes, can I get my inhaler refilled? Yada, yada, yada. And I get the freaking bill today and it's $56. Oh, but it gets better. It was actually $76 at first but my insurance covered like 20 21 dollars of it so it's it's literally i have a 56 dollar bill for five to ten minutes for me to get an inhaler refill a phone visit for me to pull up my phone for me to say yes i have asthma yes i have a hard time breathing sometimes i need an inhaler $56, $76 before insurance, $76, and I called and said, if I knew it was this much, I would have just laid down and suffocated, I guess, and just died. $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $76, $
Um, and it turned out it turned out great. I'm, I'm kind of happy I used Adobe Premiere. I think Luma Fusion would have worked great if I had the pen or a keyboard and stuff, which I could have technically just connected my pen and keyboard to. But the freaking, I started using, I, I bought Affinity Photo like three months ago and I just now started using it. And I used it to edit the pictures for Celis I took at the behind the scenes. And dude, this is immaculate, all right? This is like, dog, it gives you so many more. All right, so this, let me let me break this hoe down for y'all. So it's got, you get like your developing of your picture and all, like your contrast and that normal saturation and all that stuff. And then you choose, yes, I accept this development. And then you have freaking options to go into each color individually, so red. And then you get to add cyan to red or yellow to red or black to red or adjust the darkness of red. And then you have blue and then you have cyan and then you have magenta and then you have yellow and then you, I don't know if, I don't know if freaking Lightroom has all that, but this is on my freaking iPad. So I literally get to do this with, it, it's freaking sweet. It's freaking awesome. I'm thinking about buying Affinity Photo for my computer to start using. But it was freaking sweet, dog. The only issue I'm having right now is because I don't feel like reformatting my hard drive. I'm kind of weighing out my options of getting a new hard drive. And I probably was going to get one, but now I have to pay $56 to the doctor's office. But it's freaking sweet. And if I can get a freaking hard drive, and it's like a US, USB something adapter, USB B? Type B or something. It's like one of the wide ones. I want to get one of those cables so I can connect my hard drive directly to my iPad rather than having to use the dongle every single time as well. But I can like transfer files now and stuff. It, it's just freaking sweet. The iPad's freaking sweet. That is probably my favorite purchase I've made this year. Being able to just sit there and edit the pictures and it's color accurate and being able to touch and it's freaking sweet, dude. I just need to get better with Luma Fusion. I need to get better with both, to be honest. And this project being like my first time ha being able to do a project like this it probably wasn't the best option to me to experiment on new software for it but it was freaking sweet it's freaking awesome i'm really happy with the new ipad and luma fusion and all and I've, I've definitely dragged out this video a lot longer than i need it to be but basically if you don't have to go to the doctors don't go to the doctors and if you have a chance to make universal healthcare a thing you should do that and i'm gonna run for president for like I think it said 48th president because Abraham was 16th and FDR was 32nd. So I'm going to run for 48th president. So I'm still looking for that, that perfect vice president. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go with JJ because um, then he can, you know, we're kind of two polarizing people. So we can kind of capture the two different aspects of America and all. But I'm running for president one day. I don't care. And Brittany always like, like I'm running for president one day. Um, even if I don't win, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna keep trying, but I wanna be 48th. And if I can't get 48th, then I'm gonna I'm quit. I'm gonna give up. I wanna be 48th president. All I need is one president between now and then to run for a second term, to win a second term, for me to be 36 years old by the time the election for the 48th president comes up. So I'm running for 48th, remember that, remember that. Um, and that's about all. I just, I was freaking, I was heated, I was pumped, I was about to go banging on the doctor's office door. I guess there's nothing I can really do about it, to be honest. Like, I can't really pull the poor card again. Like I did last, cause I'm not in college and stuff and I have to obviously have an income from somewhere because I do, but I can't really pull the poor card again. So I, I don't know, I'm just kind of frustrated. And then, you wanna know what else? This freaking camera had a freaking stuck pixel right around here. Yeah, right around like here, right in here. You know, and I had to freaking cover that up in the freaking video. It's one little stupid pixel. It wasn't like it was a big noticeable thing. It was one stupid pixel, like right here, that I had to freaking fix. Because the, the freaking camera, I don't know what the hell happened with it. I did a freaking pixel remapping, so it better not be there. Right here. Right in this area, right here. I don't know why it was there. It wasn't even there consistently. You you need, you need to get your shit straightened out. You need to take all your shit and put it, get your shit together. Cause that was that was frustrating. That almost gave me a freaking heart attack. I was going through freaking footage. I was like, oh my gosh, there's one blue pixel right here. What the? You almost got me this time. But I I turned the camera on the next day and it wasn't there anymore. So I don't know. I don't know if my mind's playing tricks on me or not. Or what the hell is wrong with this camera? Or get your. Sh I sell you. I get, I get another one. I sell you. I don't know. That's that's kind of how my day's going. So. I had a freaking stuck pixel. I have a freaking $56 doctor's appointment for five minutes to get a refill for my inhaler. I freaking had to send my sh between CVS and Walmart and the doctor's office it's for two weeks, surviving on 20 puffs of my inhaler, having to decide between if this is bad enough or if I will have worse. I don't know. Hopefully you guys get a kick out of my my life, my, my negatives, my downfalls. 
uh, my shortcomings, but I don't freaking know. Let me know if you guys like the video. Let me know if you want to hear me complain about some more stuff. I can just, you know, they have reaction freaking YouTubes and gaming YouTubes and stuff, but they ain't got no YouTubes where people just sit there and complain. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the first guy to just sit and complain about everything that goes wrong. So, but I figure if, if $56 for a doctor's appointment is the worst thing that I'm dealing with today, then my life is going pretty dang well. So... I'll get over it, I guess. So, um, But I will put a link down in the description once that new Celis behind the scenes video goes live. Um, so y'all let me know if y'all like that hoe. Because I, I feel I love that hoe. I was watching, I'm like, you're a professional. You're a freaking perfect. This looks professional. And I did I did some cool split screen and stuff. And I'm like, y I didn't know you knew how to do all this. I didn't, know, I didn't know you know how to do all this, you know? I'm learning. I'm watching YouTube videos, and I watched that. I watched a 30-minute YouTube video and learned that. Now I can split screen stuff. You know, split split this whole up. Proud of myself for that. I hope Celis likes it too. But that video will be linked down below, and I'm gonna quit beating a dead horse, and I'm gonna go do something and be angry on my own with the rest of my day. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Will Miles wants you when I run for 48th president. In 2036 2036 that's when I'm running 2036 I'm running for president you better you best believe 2036 I'm gonna probably be worth like a billion by then but I'm running for president and I'm gonna make YouTube videos in the White House too I'm gonna be the first president well hopefully it doesn't happen between now and then if, if it happens I'm saying it now if it happens between now and then that someone starts vlogging after becoming president they stole that you heard that idea from me first that came from me that's all on me so i'm gonna be the first vlogging youtuber twitch streaming president i'm gonna be streaming every night at 6 p.m like i do now in the white house you know it, it's gonna be the same thing because it's not like you just get to sit there and not really do anything in the first place so i'm gonna sit there and not do anything and play video games and stream in the White House. Like at the, I'm gonna set my setup on the desk in the Oval, like the freaking, the room, the president's room, streaming video games, playing Call of Duty. Whatever Call of Duty is out by then. So, I'm gonna be 37 in 2036, so. See you guys there.